Cataclysm is basically a disaster movie. Every shot has some sort of destruction or some sort of force or some sort of earthquake or wave or something going on. Having all these sets that we got to pull apart, I thought, well, that's just going to be easy. Uh, and I was wrong. We were concerned about not necessarily getting it done, but just sort of how it would all come together. The biggest thing was going to be just the sheer number of effects that we had to do for the show. We had mountains of water and skies full of fire. A lot of smokes, uh, sparks, lava effects, dripping lavas, a glowing mouth, anything you can think of. One of our bigger jobs was just deciding what lands we were going to break. The wonderful thing about working on something like World of Warcraft is you have a very established set of environments. Every environment piece that we saw in the foreground and a bunch in the background had to be destroyed. So it was a kind of an environment-driven production rather than a character-driven production. It's a lot different than animating characters, but it doesn't mean that you can't put a lot of character into it. We went through a lot of iteration to capture the essence of those places, but uh, also ground them in the sort of heightened reality. Deathwing is a really big dragon. He's like airliner big, right? We knew that we were gonna see him from all angles, so he needed to be believable from all angles. So we give him the full treatment. His size and scope of the areas that he's traveling over is enormous. I was very afraid on, on a more macro level that we would build a fire or build smoke or embers or what have you, and that we would not be able to convey how big he really is. Deathwing is a very complicated character and uh, I was tremendously impressed at how our team was able to bring him to life. There's a really intense uh, prospect trying to make all that work. In the end, it's really the best way that we need to tell the story. It turned out to be a fun project just to have modeling build all these crazy sets and then set it up so animators can tear it to the ground.